Hi, so we're going to see the tablet architecture. So as you can see here, this is the first tablet that we're going to see. As you can see, we have here the tablet motherboard. So this is the tablet motherboard. And over here, this is the battery. Okay, so we find the main or the major part in every tablet is the tablet motherboard, the battery, and of course, the screen. This tablet has a broken screen. This is just the only problem in this tablet. Okay? Of course, we're going to discuss and to study many kind of tablet motherboards in order to go deeper into understanding tablet repairing. Okay? So, as you can see here, this is the motherboard. Okay? And over here, we have connectors. Usually, you'll find connectors in the side, in the up of each motherboard, okay? Then we have the inside connectors, as you can see, the connector for the camera, the rear camera, as you can see, and this for the touch screen, okay? So we have here the SIM card, as you can see, and under this cover, as you can see, we have the processor, the RAM, and the BIOS. Okay, so I will show you this in another motherboard. As you can see, for example, we have another motherboard with the same working principle always, or usually you will find motherboard in the shape, as you can see, in the shape, as you can see also for this. The same also for this, okay? So here, as you can see, this is the processor, as you can see here, Let's check the type of this processor. As you can see, this is a dual core processor. Okay. And over here, this is the RAM, the random access memory, always near to the processor. Here we have the BIOS. Okay. This is the shape for the BIOS. I see. We have here four gigabyte. Usually you'll find in tablet a BIOS with 4 GB. As you can see here we have 4 GB. We have another motherboard with 4 GB. As you can see we have also this as you can see here with 4 GB. Okay. Usually you will find that the BIOS I see in the tablet motherboards is 4 GB in size. Okay. So this is the processor. This is a dual core processor. As you see, the A23, okay? Usually, in tablets, they use the A23 processor. As you can see also here, I will show you another tablet. As you see here, we have A23 processor, A23 processor, okay? And here for this tablet, we have, as you see, the A20 processor, okay? So, here we have the processor, this is the RAM, okay? Here we have the BIOS, as you can see, here this is the camera, and this is the connector of camera. Here we have the lead, this is an IC over here, as you can see, this is another IC here. We have here another IC, okay? So here, this is the big chips, the processor and the RAM are the big chips in every tablet, and of course the BIOS. So, and here we have the ICs, as you can see, here we have other components, like inductors, like ceramic capacitor, diode, transistor, resistors, etc. We have some switches, okay, and of course connectors, etc. Okay? And in the other side, as you can see, we have here connectors, okay? This is the power connector, the power track, this is the USB connector. Here we have for the audio, audio connector. Here we have for the external memory card. Here this is for power, as you can see we have here plus. This is power track, you can use this or even this. And here we have switches for the volume and for the power, okay? So let's see this. Motherboard also, as you can see here, this is the processor, as you can see also, this is a dual core processor. So here, this is the memory, here we have another place that is an empty place for the memory. Here we have the BIOS with 4 GB, okay. Here, this is inductors, okay, those are inductors. Here we have PF or ceramic capacitors, okay. 
these are semi-capacitors okay here of course we have ICs as you can see so this is ICs we have here as you can see other inductions this is semi-capacitor this is diodes okay transistors here we have connector for the the screen okay and of course here we have other connectors so as you see on the other side we have connectors as you can see so this is just an overview or the architecture of the laptop or tablet motherboard so let's check this tablet also so so i'm going to teach you about four tablets motherboard or five tablet motherboard in order to go deeper into understanding motherboard okay as you can see here also so this is a motherboard always the same always with the same shape as you can see here so here as you can see this is the processor okay here we have the ram as you can see here we have some ic's we have here another ic this is this sim card okay so we have here some component like inductors transistors similar capacitors as you can see here this is another inductor as you see this is the connector for the screen as you can see here of course here we have the mic as you can see here as you see with two wires okay and the speaker of course this this is for speaker and this is wire. always you will find the reference as you see here we have mic here we have the speaker okay as you can see here and this is the antenna for the GSM as you can see always you will find in the motherboard some references and some writing okay here for example we have VBAT plus and VBAT minus so this is the battery this is the plus of the battery and this is the minus of the battery exactly like, like as we have in this motherboard this is the battery always the red wire is for plus as you see the positive and the black connected to the minus as you can see here we have antenna here this is antenna as you can see it goes here okay and in this motherboard as you can see we have here gsm the same antenna okay antenna or gsm is the same okay so for this motherboard as you can see also we have the the processor and here we have two rams okay two rams in some motherboard you can find just one chip ram as you can see here for example for this we have just one chip but for this we have here two rams as you can see okay this is the processor here we have of course some ICs as you can see this is the BIOS inductors diodes chemical capacitors as you can see so here this this and this are crystal oscillator as you can see this is crystal oscillator okay here we have another ic we have inductors this is connectors okay so for the tablet architecture we find always the processor or the central processing unit and the random access memory and the ROM or the BIOS, the basic input output system that contains a program inside it. Okay, so the BIOS, as you can see here, contain a program inside it. This program is the responsible for configuring or for booting the tablet when you press the power button, as we call it, post or power on self test so the bios the first time when you press the power button the bios will check all components in the motherboard will do a self test for the whole motherboard and then will start booting the tablet okay